Hi, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk and today I'm just going to be bringing you a preview of what we can expect in the upcoming WWDC Apple keynote that's happening on the 8th of June, that's next Monday, 5pm UK time. Now, everyone is citing that a new iPhone or maybe two new iPhones will be detailed at this keynote speech. We are obviously going to get full details of the new OS3 software for the current iPhones, but we are expecting new units to be launched as well. Uh, Boy Genius Report uh, cites some information from Fido of a new 4 gigabyte version of the iPhone, which should be selling in the US for $99. They also state that uh, the unit will offer iChat video calling. So this may well mean that we get a front-facing video camera in the new iPhones. Along the same lines, Engadget are also reporting that models will range from 4 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. So this could mean a, a, a much higher capacity iPhone as well. What that would do to pricing, I don't know. I'm hoping that these price breaks for the lower end model will certainly filter down to the UK for perhaps a £99 pay-as-you-go model. That would certainly set the ball rolling for Apple to sell millions of units in the UK if they can hit that sort of price point. We're also expecting to see um, a new sensor in the iPhone using a magnetic system which will deliver an on-screen compass. That will be a very, very nice addition. Um, apart from that, we're not really looking at too many changes. My particular prediction will be that the unit will stay obviously at the same sort of size. We may see a rubberized finish to the back and some improvements on that camera. We, we're hoping that the camera will support uh, video recording and perhaps they'll bump it up to 3.2, maybe 4, meg 4 megapixels and uh, the addition of a small flash unit on the back would also be very welcome. It's something that the iPhone has been criticised for in the past, is the actual quality and resolution of the current camera. We know that the iPhone 3 software is going to uh, introduce MMS and also copy and paste, which is going to be two very welcome features to the iPhone, but we're going to have to wait till next Monday to see what Apple's got in store for us. The first Flickr pictures posted by Adam Jackson 1984 of the WWDC conference hall have gone up and one of the banners states the slogan one year later light years ahead. Uh, this certainly looks as though Apple will be concentrating on the iPhone and on the App Store and um, it's going to be very very interesting to see what they introduce by way of uh, maybe streaming applications or running background tasks for applications. So watch this space with interest. Uh, certainly on the evening of Monday the 8th of June I will be bringing you a full update on the announcements that Apple make. Slightly different news now. Uh, there have been leaked pictures of the new Sony PSP which we now know is going to be called the PSP Go. It's going to feature a 3.8 resolution screen. It's going to be 43% lighter than the current PSP and will have 16 gigabytes of flash memory on board. They've done away with the UMD drive, so it's going to be purely downloadable content onto this new device. There is also going to be uh, a feature where the controls are actually hidden on a slide out panel so that screen will slide up to reveal the controls and uh, it certainly does look like a very very nice unit no mention on pricing yet but the uh, E3 uh, conference is currently going on so we will no doubt know what pricing and launch dates will be very very shortly don't forget to tune in again in a couple of days when I'll be uploading a video detailing last month's competition winners as well as this month's competition for June where you'll be given the chance to win one of two iPhone 3G cases from ProPorter.com Also, don't forget to check my YouTube channel 
on Monday the 8th of June for that really exciting WWDC keynote coverage. Well, thanks very much for listening. This has been Dave from geekanoids.co.uk.